Hey everyone, it's Terrell, and let's be real, the future is looking pretty weird. Like weirder than that time you accidentally opened your front-facing camera. Today, we're diving into a topic that's both fascinating and kind of terrifying. What happens when robots, or AI as the cool kids call it, take all the jobs? We're talking about real possibilities, real anxieties we have about the future. So, buckle up because we're about to explore 15 shocking ways AI could completely transform our world. And as we go, I want you to think utopia or dystopia. Let's go. So, picture this. You wake up one morning, robots are making your coffee, writing your emails, and, oh yeah, they also took your job. That's the idea behind Universal Basic Income, or UBI. Now, UBI isn't some newfangled idea. It's been kicking around in academic circles and late-night dorm room debates for decades. The idea is pretty simple. Everyone gets a regular paycheck, regardless of whether they have a job or not. Critics worry about the cost, potential inflation, and whether it would discourage people from working altogether. How much money should people receive? Would it be enough to live comfortably or just scrape by? And how would we fund such a massive program? Remember school? The endless homework? The pop quizzes? The crushing boredom? What if I told you that in the age of AI, education might look radically different? Like actually interesting? The answer lies in creativity, critical thinking, problem solving, and emotional intelligence. Imagine schools focusing on these essential human skills. Picture vibrant spaces for exploration and collaboration, where students learn by doing, creating, and questioning. Let's get real for a second. Losing your job can be tough. It's not just about the financial hit, it's about identity and purpose. What happens when machines replace us? A mental health crisis could follow. Depression and anxiety rates could skyrocket. Even with UBI, purpose remains an issue. Humans need to create and contribute. We must ensure people feel valued and purposeful. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Or maybe it's more like a robot elephant, ruthlessly efficient and programmed to maximize profits. AI has the potential to make the already wealthy even wealthier, while leaving everyone else scrambling for scraps. Who's going to own these AI-powered companies? The same small percentage who already control most of the world's wealth. As AI automates more jobs, the profits will flow upwards, further concentrating wealth in the hands of the few. This could lead to unprecedented levels of economic inequality, making the gap between the haves and the have-nots wider than ever before. Okay, so you're probably thinking, Terrell, this is bleak. Give me some good news. Okay, fine. Maybe AI taking our jobs won't be all bad. Think about it. How much of your life is spent working to make money to buy things? What if you didn't have to work so much? What if you had more free time? This brings us to another fascinating question. How will consumer behavior change in a world where work is no longer the center of our lives? With more free time and potentially less disposable income, we might see a rise in collaborative consumption, sharing economies, and a renewed focus on local and sustainable products. This could lead to some really interesting shifts in the retail landscape, with businesses catering to a more discerning and value-conscious consumer base. Think about your city, your town. Now imagine a world where nobody has to commute to work. What happens to those office buildings? those crowded highways, that coffee shop you go to every morning? It's enough to make you wonder, what will our cities look like when the daily grind disappears? We might see a decline in demand for office space, leading to the repurposing of skyscrapers into residential buildings, vertical farms, or even indoor parks. Imagine cities designed for people, not cars, with more green spaces, pedestrian-friendly streets, and vibrant community hubs. Public transportation could become a delightful experience, a seamless flow of autonomous vehicles and high-speed rail connecting people to their destinations. 
Okay, so maybe robots will take some jobs, but they'll also create new ones, right? Jobs with cool names like AI ethicist or um, robot therapist? The job market of the future will be full of opportunities we can't even imagine yet. Think about roles like AI trainers or personal data curators. We might even see new industries focused on human augmentation, space exploration, or virtual reality. New jobs will emerge, requiring us to adapt and learn new skills. We humans are social creatures. We crave connection and community. What happens when AI disrupts our social structures? Will we become isolated with AI companions? Or will we form new online communities? AI could change family dynamics. It's up to us to use AI to foster connection. How do we ensure that AI is developed and used ethically? AI is only as good as the data we feed it and the intentions of its creators. We risk perpetuating biases and creating discriminatory algorithms. Imagine an AI hiring system that favors men over women or facial recognition software that misidentifies people of color. We need clear ethical guidelines for AI development, ensuring these technologies benefit all of humanity. Remember globalization? Countries trading with each other, economies interconnected? Well, buckle up, because AI is about to shake things up on a global scale. Imagine a world where factories are fully automated, robots work tirelessly without breaks, and goods are produced with lightning-fast efficiency. This could lead to a dramatic shift in global trade patterns, with countries that embrace AI gaining a significant competitive advantage. We might see the rise of new economic superpowers, while others struggle to keep up in a rapidly changing landscape. AI also has the potential to reshape geopolitical alliances, influence international conflicts, and even redefine the balance of power on a global scale. It's a future fraught with both promise and peril, and it's essential that we approach these advancements with caution, diplomacy, and a commitment to international cooperation. Okay, so we've talked about the economy, our jobs, the fate of humanity. But what about the planet? Because here's the thing, AI could be a powerful tool in the fight against climate change. Imagine AI-powered smart grids optimizing energy consumption, autonomous vehicles reducing traffic congestion, and precision agriculture minimizing waste and maximizing yields. AI could help us monitor deforestation, track endangered species, and develop innovative solutions to environmental challenges. But there's a flip side to this coin. The development and deployment of AI require massive amounts of energy, which could exacerbate existing environmental problems if we're not careful. We need to ensure that the development of AI is done sustainably, using renewable energy sources and minimizing its environmental impact. Politics. It's messy, it's complicated, and frankly, it rarely makes sense. But what happens when you throw AI into the mix? Will robots replace politicians, making decisions based on cold, hard data, rather than emotions, biases, and backroom deals? AI could potentially make government more efficient, transparent, and responsive to the needs of citizens. Imagine AI-powered systems that analyze vast amounts of data to identify corruption, optimize resource allocation, and personalize public services. But before we get too excited about AI presidents and robot senators, we need to consider the potential risks. How do we ensure that these systems are accountable to the people they serve? Who gets to control these powerful technologies? And how do we prevent them from being used to concentrate power in the hands of a select few? Throughout history, humans have always expressed creativity, from cave paintings to romantic era symphonies to today's TikToks. Don't judge, you know you love them. But with AI generating art, music, and poetry, what happens to human creativity? Will AI be a tool, a collaborator, pushing us to new artistic frontiers? We might see a resurgence of handcrafted goods, appreciating human creativity's unique nuances. For generations, 
Success has been defined by our jobs, our careers, our positions on the corporate ladder. But what happens when that ladder collapses, upended by the rise of AI? How will we measure our worth, our value, our place in the world? Imagine a world where success is measured by the impact you have on others, the joy you bring, the connections you forge. We've explored the benefits and consequences of an AI-powered future. But maybe, it doesn't have to be a zero-sum game. What if we embraced AI as a partner, a force for good? Imagine humans and AI solving problems together. AI could assist doctors, personalize education, and help design sustainable cities. The key is using AI ethically and responsibly. Well, there you have it. 15 ways AI could turn our world upside down. I know, it's a lot to process. It can be overwhelming to think about the future, especially when it feels so uncertain. But here's the thing. The future isn't something that just happens to us. We have the power to shape the future we want to see, to ensure that AI is used for good, that everyone benefits from these advancements, and that we create a world that is both technologically advanced and deeply human. So, what do you think? Are you ready to embrace the robot revolution? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video thought provoking, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. See you next time.